So now I'm going to show you how to use your FL Studio with Reason via Rewire. It's a very simple process, not painful at all. So check it on out. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to load up a channel for our Rewire. So let's go up to Channels and then go down to Rewire, Rewired. Okay. And now let me just go ahead and delete this channel. I never like to have more than what's necessary. So let's get that out of there. Okay, now. So when you bring up your rewired channel, you get this little dialog box here. And so now we got to go ahead and make the connection from FL Studio to Reason. So what you want to do right down here where it says client, you just want to left click on that. And whatever you have installed in your computer, you're going to get a little list of, you know, I have Reason, I got Melodyne. You're going to get this list here. Let's go ahead and select Reason. So as you can see, that changed from Rewire to Reason. So now we have a Reason channel, but it's not open yet. We still have to open up Reason. So what you want to do is right here next to uh, your client channel, you want to left click on Show Panel. Click that up, and that's going to bring up your Reason dialog box. And you'll always get this little uh, MIDI input problem whenever you're using Rewire. Just go ahead and click OK. That's fine. So now what I'm going to do is just go ahead and load up a mixer. And I'm going to load up a, uh, let's go ahead and load up Redrum. Okay, and let's go ahead and load up. Uh, let's go ahead and load up a uh, mouse drum. Boom. Okay. Okay. Now audio outputs, right? One and two. Keep that in mind. Audio outputs one and two. I'm gonna show you why in a minute. Okay. So let's go back to FL Studio. Now what we have to do is click on MIDI options. Okay. And this is important right here. You want to make sure that you have your hardware interface. Okay. You want to you want to select that and then click Add Change. Now your hardware interface two. Okay, that's pertaining to one and two right here. That's audio output one and two. So those channels are gonna be dedicated just for that. Okay, and as you can see, our mixer is on channel two and then read drums on channel three and then our mouse drums on channel four. So keep that in mind. Okay, so hardware interface, click add change and then click okay. Okay, boom. Okay, so now the next thing we wanna do is we wanna go ahead and load up a MIDI out channel. So let's go up to channels. Okay, and go down to MIDI out. Okay, so right here where it says channel, this pertains to, bring it back up again, this is going to pertain to right here. Okay, so your channel, I can't bring them both up at the same time, but okay, so your MIDI out, okay, now we're going to go channel 3 because we know that by looking at our MIDI options, our read drum is on channel 3, okay, and then on channel 4, we're going to have mouse drum. So, go ahead and just rename this real quick it's always important to name your tracks most definitely all right so let's go ahead and rename this redrum boom okay now let's see if we hear any sounds boom perfect there we go all right now let's go ahead and add another MIDI out and I'm gonna use this for mouse drum so we're going to make it channel 4. So remember 1 and 2 is dedicated for your audio output. 3 is going to be for whatever you have assigned to channel 3. In this case we have redrum assigned to channel 3. And then channel 4 we're going to have mouse drum. So let's go ahead and just rename this real quick. Just put MAL. Boom. Done. Okay so when I have the redrum selected, it plays the drums. When I have the mouse drum selected, and so on and so forth. You know as you can see, go ahead and bring a mouse drum. Okay, we got to tweak it out a little bit. Okay, and then we're selecting uh, redrum, getting your drums. All right, and that's how you do it for your rewire. So rewires are such a powerful tool, man, because it just opens up a lot of opportunity to just be more creative. You know, this isn't just for uh, FL Studio and Pro Tools. You can do this with Ableton, uh, Cubase, you know, whatever, you know, Sonar. Uh, you know whatever programs that, that are going to allow you to use rewire you know you'll have access to all these other programs and still use your favorite program and you know but have access to all the other programs that you like just have it all in one session okay now just keep in mind also that now reason is now a slave to fl studio so you want you want to lay down your tracks you just go ahead and just lay them down so, all right so let's go ahead and lay down a little something with reason rewire Quantize that, Alt Q, select, 
Boom. Let's go ahead and lay down our hi-hats. Yeah. Alright. Now we got our hats in there. Quantize. All Q. Boom. Done. Alright. Let's go ahead and uh, let's add a little something else extra to this. because my plane's a little sloppy you know alt q all right let's play that back yeah all right and that just, that just shows you a basic kick snare and a hi-hat with some right chords 